Good day, educators of the children 0 to 4 years of age. This is Helian Johnson from Preschool Consulting, bringing you more exciting information around the early learning and development areas. In previous videos, we've already covered the other three, but today we're talking about number four, which is exploring mathematics. Listen carefully, exploring mathematics. I'll explain. When we think about mathematics, we very often want to teach the children to count and we want them to, to add up and do subtraction and, and really be involved in maths. But maths is far more basic than that. We have three main aims. First and foremost, we only want this age group to have a growing awareness of numbers and of counting. We don't expect this age group to do rote counting or to do uh, a particular problem solving like, like number sentences and adding up two plus two equals four. We really just want them to be aware that there is a concept such as numbers and that counting is something that can happen. So it's just an exploration around mathematics. Then secondly, and that is very important, we want the babies, the toddlers and the young children to be able to put things in categories. We want them to sort, find all your socks, um, put the shoes together, um, find all the teaspoons, bring me the teaspoons, collect all the, the plates. That is sorting and grouping and classifying. For the young child 0 to 4, that is mathematics. Later on, when they get more formal training, when they are older, then we can delve into uh, common denominators and uh, all the big words around attributes and common attributes and things like that. For now, while they are 0 to 4, we only let them group and sort and classify according to what they use and the differences that they can obviously see. Then thirdly, for mathematics, and that is the final one, is that we want them to be aware of things like measurement and shape and size, uh, and we want to involve that in their everyday life. And it's actually quite easy, even with a baby. You could say to the baby, you finished your whole bottle. It is now empty. That is a mathematical concept. And the fact that you have finished it means that it's 150 mils down that, that, that you've drank. So even though you don't use that kind of words, the whole concept of there is something, and after you have had your formula, there's now nothing, lays the foundation for mathematics. So we don't really have to teach them how to write numbers or how to, to calculate. We just need to use mathematical language at the age 0 to 4 and let them explore, let them find out whether the lid fits onto the bottle. Because if it doesn't, it means that it's not the lid of that bottle or I need to find another lid that will fit. That's all about shape and size and measurement. It's so much more on an informal level than formal maths teaching. It's also when we use songs and rhymes where we say, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. We only clap twice. All the children follow us. They also just clap twice. How did that happen? We've created an awareness of numbers and counting in a very informal way. So although it's a very important subject and we will never ever want to neglect it, we have to be aware that when we do mathematics, exploring mathematics, it's about the exploring when we teach the children not to four years of age. I hope I got my message across because it's one that I feel very, very strongly about. In the meantime, I want you to stay inspired. I want you to keep on exploring. And I want you to guide the children to also find out for themselves which one is most 
which one is less, which one is bigger, which one is smaller. In the meantime, stay inspired. This is Hillian saying goodbye.